All right, another best of series video today, and I've got the House of Maison Margiela and their replica fragrances. Just think of Jazz Club, By the Fireplace, Under the Lemon Trees, and those kind of fragrances. And just keep in mind, this is the best of, meaning everything that they've launched and they've discontinued and what's currently selling that I consider the best of from this house. So find out my top 13 best of Maison Margiela replica fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about Maison Margiela's replica collection of fragrances. You know, I first discovered this collection around 2015. And prior to that, Maison Margiela had launched a few fragrances. Then they launched the replica collection. So anything that they've launched outside of the replica collection is not featured here. So they do have fragrances outside of the collection, although they don't have a lot and um, I, I don't know what's going on with that series, but the Replica collection is still selling and they keep cranking out new releases and discontinuing fragrances so that they can make room for new stuff. So in this video, I've got 13 fragrances from the beginning of time for the collection until the end. And there's a bonus section after with a bunch of fragrances that did not make the list. Some of your favorites might not be on this list and you'll have to watch to find out if it made it or not. But what we're gonna do is start off at number 13 with Lazy Sunday Morning, this one right here. So this one seems a bit on the feminine side. It's a aldehyde bomb for me. It's also very clean and laundry-like and also white floral with green touches. So the aldehydes gives you that classic edge. Lily of the Valley also kind of contributes to that, giving you a kind of a green floral edge as well. But in the end, for me, it's very clean. It's very clean and fresh and a light fruitiness comes in as well. But you know, it does have that kind of classic styling that I kind of like with aldehydic fragrances. And this is definitely aldehydic and musty musky, fresh and clean. Laundry comes to mind and then and, and exactly lazy Sunday morning. Sometimes you don't have anything to do and you want this kind of very clean, breezy kind of fresh fragrance to wear that doesn't, you know, do a lot of pressure like doesn't want you to get up and jump around and things like that. So it's a very laid back kind of a feel with this fragrance. So I'm starting off the list at number 13 with Lazy Sunday Morning and I think it's appropriately titled or named. It makes sense for that fragrance, especially the aldehydes. It's very breezy, laid back and also light, not heavy. So moving on to number 12, under the lemon trees at number 12. And this is a very uh, pleasant citrus fragrance. And even though it's called under the lemon trees, it does have a lemony smell. We don't have lemons in the notes here. They're basically using lime. It's lime, so it's citrusy for sure. But lemons and limes, they do have a different kind of a smell and you definitely notice it here. But what they've done with the notes, together to combine uh, to create uh, this uh, lemony edge. So lime, green tea, pettigran, cardamom, mate, coriander, musk, and cedar. So there's definitely tea-like vibe here. Tea and citrus is together. So it makes for another very relaxed, cozy experience. It does have that kind of invigorating citrusy edge with the lime and the pettigran. The pettigran is the leaves of the bitter orange tree. And then all that tea combined with the mate and the green tea to give you that very kind of uh, late back coziness with this fragrance and it kind of makes sense to me under the lemon trees in the summertime I believe it's Palermo which is what it says it's in Italy so lots of lemon trees growing there and for you know warm summer days you want something very kind of light and airy and laid back kind of a feeling and I think this makes sense so you do have some spices and also woods and musk coming in here to you know round out the fragrance to create a beautiful citrus fragrance so at number 12 it's under the lemon trees from the house of Maison Margiela's replica collection. So this is the first of several fragrances that have been discontinued from this house. This is a, a tiny bit left for me. I don't have too much left of this fragrance. This is from the Black Bottle, more higher end, almost like a private blend kind of a collection or exclusive collection of fragrances that got discontinued. This is Wicked Love at number 11. So Wicked Love is a really unique and green rose fragrance in that when I smelled it, I 
was like, wow, this smells kind of vegetal and green and like you're smelling green bell peppers, which is basically what they have in the notes here mixed in with the rose. So it's got a very green salad-like quality, especially like a green bell pepper salad or something. And you definitely experience it here. And it's a nice contrast to the rose that's in here. For me, also, I've cooked plenty and I'm a big salad guy, so I use a lot of green bell peppers. When you stop and focus on the smell of the green bell peppers, there's definitely a rosy new wants in there more like a green stemmy rose and I think it makes sense that they've combined the green bell pepper with roses here stop and uh, you know smell the, the green bell peppers next time you're chopping up some because uh, you'll notice some rosy nuances in there so it's green bell pepper rose also basil hyacinth jasmine white musk vetiver and cedar it's really truly beautiful but unfortunately this whole collection in the black bottles got discontinued perhaps it wasn't doing well perhaps it wasn't matching the uh, you know the, the, the success of the regular collection in the clear bottles which are all eau de toilettes and these are eau de parfums i don't know what the reasoning was behind this discontinuation of all five of the fragrances in the dark bottles but they got discontinued but this is definitely one of the best from the collection wicked love from maison Mar margella replica collection let me know if you're a fan of that one next we've got matcha meditation and this came out a couple years after they discontinued tea escape which i do have on the list but matcha meditation here at number 10 and that's actually a very creamy take on tea and also jasmine because there's a very prominent jasmine note in this matcha meditation so it's jasmine matcha green tea orange blossom white chocolate and oak moss and you definitely experience the white chocolate and for me i'm not a big fan of eating white chocolate to me it doesn't really have that whole chocolate quality it's more like sugary cream but here in the fragrance it really does work well it smells great and it also adds another layer of coziness you know tea fragrances for me even though they're caffeine they give me that very relaxed feeling when I'm sipping on tea it just has that kind of very coziness and you definitely experience that coziness and the relaxed comforting feeling when you're wearing the fragrances as well but with the white chocolate creaminess it's so smooth and it adds that extra layer of relaxation and cozy factor when you're wearing this fragrance but for sure the jasmine is very prominent you'll definitely notice it the matcha the greenness the tea grassiness all comes in here it's matcha and green tea together so i don't understand why they discontinued uh, tea escape which was the first tea fragrance and they came out with matcha meditation and I'm not a hundred percent sure how successful matcha meditation has been for this uh, house but I enjoy it not as much as tea escape because tea escape to me was really really perfect this one it's a little different but still enjoy uh, the, the way the fragrance smells and wears as well so matcha meditation at number 10 and then we've got another fragrance from the dark bottle collection this is soul of the forest for Maison Margiela, and this is a fragrance created by Quinton Biche. I haven't been telling you the names of the perfumers of these fragrances. The ones I remember, I will let you know. Matcha Meditation was created by Maurice Roussel. Um, the other ones I'm not familiar with, but this Soul of the Forest is a Quinton Biche creation, and it's definitely a really great fir, pine kind of a smell. It's very green and also a bit earthy, and lots of woods as well with this one. So in the end, we're using fir balsam, cedar, blackcurrant, incense, labdanum, chili pepper, maple, oak moss, and patchouli. But you know, it's a very unique smell in that you do experience that kind of pine fir uh, forest smell in here, and along the way you get like fruits uh, imagine you're walking in that forest and you come to a little field or a grove of fruits growing but you do have that kind of smell of the forest still and then the fruits are, are the smell is kind of popping through if there's some warmth on uh, the fruits themselves so it's kind of a very interesting way the fragrance is created and also a really wonderful offering from uh, a Quinton Biche one of the best perfumers out there currently who is you know creating so many different fragrances as of late this came out several years ago so I don't think he was as popular as he is now but again this is definitely a great fragrance and one of the best from the the brand unfortunately it's discontinued and uh, hopefully you can find a bottle remember when i do the best of series of fragrances i do cover fragrances have that have been discontinued and this is a series that features all the best of the brands that i consider the best of from each brand and if you haven't caught my previous videos i've done a private blend tom ford video i've done a frederick mall 
video, Maison Francis Kirkjum video, as a best of series, and then also a 40th anniversary best of Amouage video as well. But again, Soul of the Forest at number nine is a really great fragrance if you can find it. All right, at number eight, unfortunately, my bottle has gone missing. Sometimes bottles do go missing here in the studio because I pull them out for, you know, clients to come in and smell stuff. And then I don't put them away and I don't know where it is. But at number eight, it's Bubble Bath. And I really do enjoy soapy fragrances because when you smell or wear soapy fragrances, it really kind of subconsciously gives you the clean feeling. And Bubble Bath is a really great soapy fragrance. And I enjoy it because it's got that whole clean vibe. In the summertime, I think it's also perfect because you get that subconscious feeling of clean when you put it on because it smells like soap and also the fact that it's sweaty hot and muggy out there and this gives you that kind of subconscious clean feel so i really enjoy bubble bath even though it's nothing any in the like groundbreaking or anything too original but i think they did a great job with it and it features the notes of soap bubble clean accord coconut musk lavender jasmine bergamot rose and in this case a lot of times citrus floral notes do create a soapiness here they're not using citrus floral notes they're using other accords they say so perhaps they've made them with citrus floral notes but this fragrance is great i really enjoy it and it definitely gives you that kind of soapy feeling but the next fragrance is from the black bottle collection this is the last of the black bottle collection fragrances it's flying at number seven this to me i only have a little bit left as you can see right here i think it's a really really great fragrance and to me it's also soapy and here we are using the neroli the orange blossom bergamot and pettigran to create that whole soapy factor but a really great almost Neroli Portofino like cologne 4711 type of fragrance but really done really really perfectly here with flying it's Neroli orange blossom there's bergamot here for the citrus juiciness Petigran for the green bitterness of the leaves ozonic notes to give you that very fresh watery feel musk ylang ylang almond blossom and oak moss really really great fragrance these three in the black bottle were really great for me from this house sadly they are discontinued if you can get a bottle of flying get it it does have a bit of classic leaning touch because i think it's paying tribute to fragrances like those original eau de colognes of yesteryear but a really great fragrance flying at number seven if you don't know that one do check it out and the next one is a fragrance that's currently selling it's coffee break this one right here so i don't know who the perfumer of this fragrance is i originally the databases said jacques cavalier who creates fragrances for louis vuitton but some databases say Nathalie Lorson, but I believe Jacques Cavalier used to be with Fermaniche, the firm that houses a lot of different perfumers like Nathalie Lorson, Olivier Cresp, and Alberto Moreas. But either way, I think this is a great coffee fragrance, milky, and also aromatic because I never thought that coffee and lavender would work great together along with milk, but it really does work here. Milk, milky creaminess also creates a very cozy factor, and coffee to me is very comforting, very, very comforting for me. Having afternoon coffee is one of my favorite things to do with a little pastry or a like cookie or something and doing this uh, ritual every afternoon is one of my favorite things to do because I need that kind of boost of caffeine and this to me feels like that you know you're getting that kind of milk and coffee combo and then you're throwing in the lavender it's all very very cozy notes here so lavender coffee milk there's pepper for sure tonka vanilla benzoin cedar vetiver orange blossom cipriol and patchouli so it's definitely a really really delicious coffee gourmand with aromatic notes and lactonic uh, touches as well i think it's great uh, fragrance for this house and a wonderful offering who i don't know the perfumer 100 percent sure who the perfumer is but i think they did a great job here with coffee break so at number six it's coffee break and at number five this is tea escape sadly discontinued uh, and again, to me, this is a really, really great tea fragrance. Not only has green tea, but it has jasmine and mint. So I've had jasmine tea, I've had green tea, and I've had mint tea. This is combining all three of these, you know, teas you can have to create a very, really wonderful tea ritual experience. So these three notes, bergamot, milk, rice, mate, osmanthus, pink pepper. You do have that rice, uh, and then rice kind of, I think it goes into creating teas, uh, certain teas in 
and of course you do add milk in certain teas as well. For me this is one of the best tea fragrances. I really really enjoyed it. Created by Fabrice Pellegrin who's also part of Fermaniche which I mentioned Nathalie Lorsan is and also Jacques Cavalier used to be. But Tea Escape sadly it's discontinued but definitely one of the best here. This is all I have left right here. Uh, I'm going to have to keep it in safe storage because I do lock it up uh, up high in the studio so nobody gets access to it. But I think definitely if you're a fan of tea fragrances, try and find this one. I think it's a great fragrance and especially the fact that you've got jasmine, green tea, and then also mint in here all combined to give you that whole tea ritual experience. Fabulous fragrance. So Tea Escape from the House of Maison Margiela's Replica Collection is at number five. All right, next fragrance is Beach Walk. This one right here. Beach Walk is definitely one of the best beachy fragrances and they've captured it perfectly here. The smell of the skin on a beach, you know, when you've dipped into the water, that salt get collected on your skin, the muskiness all, it's all captured here with suntan lotion-like notes and things like that on you as well. I think this is a really, really great cozy beachy fragrance that I really, really love to wear and enjoy. It does have a prominent yellow floral note of ylang ylang along with coconut, musk, heliotrope, lemons, pink pepper, bergamot, benzoin, and cedar. So there's some sweetness here. There's definitely some spices along with citruses but also these kind of warmer notes like benzoin to give you that vanillic resinous touch heliotrope to give you this kind of powdery almondy edge and of course really blends beautifully with coconut and ylang ylang to give you that kind of tropical beachiness really wonderful offering beach walk is great from this house it adds at number four so this next fragrance is discontinued sadly at least from what i remember i heard it was discontinued so i ended up buying an extra bottle before it ran out but i'm talking about whispers in the library i don't know what happened with this one was it not performing well it's a really great vanilla fragrance and really perfect i think it's really a nice spicy woody vanilla fragrance with vanilla benzoin pepper tonka cedar vetiver orange blossom Chuli Cypria. For me, it does have a kind of a warm, vanillic, antique woods touch. Libraries, old libraries, books all come in to the smell of this one, but with a warmth, lots of warmth with a vanilla and benzoin and spices from the pepper. Really a great solid vanilla fragrance from this house. I don't, like I said, I don't know what happened, why it got discontinued, and uh, perhaps it just didn't click with people. The name and the, the style of the fragrance, I don't know, but if you're a fan of this one, do let me know. I'm gonna spray some on right now because definitely a great fragrance. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. There's a polished woods kind of a feel as well. Also, in addition to the antique woods, does does smell like a library to me with all the warm notes. Maybe that's it. People didn't get the fact that you've got that kind of antique woods and library effect with uh, warm notes. But smells fantastic. Really love it. But either way, number three, Whispers in the Library. Number two, it's one of the long sought after fragrances that people have been uh, craving to find, but unfortunately it got discontinued along the same time as Tea Escape, somewhere around the same time. This is Lipstick On. So Lipstick On is a feminine targeted release, but to me, I think a man can totally pull this off, especially if you like fragrances like Feb Delicious. For me, Lipstick On is a fragrance that smells like lipstick makeup, along with a kind of a Feb Delicious Tonka DNA all rolled into one. And uh, I know this has fans, I know people that enjoy it, and sadly it's got discontinued, and people mentioned they want to find a bottle because it's such a great release. It's vanilla, tonka beans, patchouli, orris, galbanum, orange blossom heliotrope bergamot and roly it's sadly it's discontinued and i like the whole effect of the makeup lipstick thing with that whole dna of feb delicious that i'm really really a, a fan of the feb delicious thing is a reminder in it it doesn't it's not like a dupe or anything but the fact that it has loads of tonka here it gave me that kind of experience along with all the kind of lipsticky touches Either way, Lipstick On is at number two. One more left, and probably your favorite fragrance is not going to be on the list, but I'm putting By the Fireplace at number one. It's definitely the best from this house. I think it's a very original fragrance that came out and a lot of other people copied to emulate something similar to this, but still, the original from this house is the best from this house. And it, I think it's one of the most successful from this house as well. And I think this is also somewhat kind of warm and spicy like Whispers in the Library. 
uh, but different. You know, this has that nutty chestnut uh, note in here. So there's some smokiness as well, like roasted chestnuts along with lots of vanilla. There's guyac wood, the balsamic notes of Peru balsam. There's cloves, pink pepper. And to me, this smells like the holidays, you know, totally does. And it's definitely really solid. It smells great. It has decent performance. And if I didn't mention already, all the fragrances of Maison Margiela's replica collection are eau de toilette, except the black bottles that I had uh, discussed are all eau de parfum. Again, those are discontinued, but I think that By the Fireplace has decent performance for what it is, and it smells really, truly original, and that's what I like about it. One of the best from this house, and probably the mo one of the most successful from this house, By the Fireplace is at number one. Anyway, that's what I consider the best of Maison Margiela Replica Collection. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances, and let me know what's missing off the list. Don't forget to stay tuned for the bonus options there. The, the fragrances that did not make the list and why. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. So there's a whole list of honorable mentions that I'm going to talk to you about and the ones that I'm not going to mention here as honorable mentions, I didn't really think twice about them. I don't own them, never thought about them and things like that. So music festival, sailing day, springtime in a park, under the stars, jazz club, at the barbers on a date. On a date would have ended up at number 14. Unfortunately didn't make it here because I just didn't make the list but I enjoy this kind of light fizzy rosy kind of champagne like sheeper fragrance really do but the rest of the fragrances music festival maybe perhaps at number 15 I like the cannabis patchouli combo springtime in a park really beautiful spring like blossoms blossoming under the stars for the whole oud thing and remember they had an oud fragrance in this dark bottle collection as well and they just launched under the stars and I'm not sure how it's doing jazz club seems to be very very popular with a lot of people it's not one of my favorite fragrances from this house pleasant decent not a wow fragrance and then finally at the barbers it's a solid barbershop fragrance but it was so light that thing would disappear so fast so those are honorable mentions and I'm mentioning them here they just did not make the list unfortunately but what's missing what else is out there from Maison Margiela that I've never discussed on the channel I'll put a comment down below so I can find out thanks so much for watching stay tuned for another video soon bye bye